from a Mr. Sidney Dribbling, and he works, oh, joy, for the BBC. <laughs> the BBC! I expect they want to make a program about my life in show business. <laughs> BBC, eh? Oh, but Tony Fiona Knox wants my son, and it's knocking! It's knocking! <laughs> Here we go, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, old grey whistle test. <laughs> Riverside, top of the pops. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Dribbling Sock. Welcome to the Roxy Cinema. Uh, Commissioner at your service. No, 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 no. Sergeant Major at your service. T L B. Ah, well, he, he obviously wants to talk to me about my time in the desert with Monty. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Film Fun. Today, we'll be seeing three cartoons, all featuring Warner's best-known cartoon star, Bugs Bunny, and all made within a period of nine months. Each cartoon, however, was made by a different director, each with his own concept of the wise-cracking rabbit. The first, Rabbit Seasoning, was released in September 1952 and directed by Chuck Jones, the man responsible for the Roadrunner series. <laughs> Do you mind turning your jacket down? Do you really like it? Well, I thought that if the BBC are going to make a program about my life in show business, I should at least try to look trendy and with it. With it? Get on with it. I prefer him without it. I think that I'll start by telling them about my early days in the business when I was charged with the responsibility of delivering the films to the cinema. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, can I help you? Hello, I'm dribbling. Well, if you haven't got a handkerchief, you could always use your sleeve. Oh, very hume. <laughs> very hume indeed. <laughs> no, I'm Sydney Dribbling of the BBC. Of the BBC? Yes, that's me. Now, when can we start? You mean the filming, or, or would you prefer an in-depth interview? Oh, ha, 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 ha. Very hume. No, I want to watch some cartoons. Watch some cartoons? You are from the BBC. Certainly. The BBC. The Bugs Bunny Club. <laughs> You've heard our motto. <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> the second of our Bugs Bunny films was released in March 1953, six months after Rabbit's seasoning, and was directed by Robert McKimson, the creator of Foghorn Leghorn. Although McKimson had only been a director since 1946, he'd been animating Bugs since the early 40s. Well, this film of his is called unswept hair. <laughs> the Termite Terror Studio was such a tightly knit unit that although the directors had the final say in their production of their own films, they could count upon the advice and suggestions of the rest of the team. In this way, and guided by reference drawings prepared on each character, the studio was able to maintain continuity and consistency of style. The main reference drawings for Bugs had been... The uh, main reference drawings for Bugs had been prepared in the early 40s by Robert McKimson. In 1943, to be precise, um, they were used for many years. <laughs> McKimson, of course, directed the film that we've just seen. I think I've mentioned that already. Well, one cannot be too careful, can one? What's next? I was planning to show Southern Fried Rabbit, directed by Isidore Freeling, or Frizz, as it is known to us members of the Bugs Bunny Club. <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> uh, now. This film was released in May 1953 and is of particular, particular interest because it features cartoon appearances by President Abraham Lincoln and Yosemite Sam. Who is modelled, it is said, on... That's right, Frizz Freeling. Or as we in the BBC say, if the cap frizz, then why not hear it? <laughs> Very Hume, <laughs> the 
don't you think? <laughs> of course, Bugs wasn't an original idea. He... No, he was in fact inspired by... Exactly! Disney's Max Hare, who won an Oscar in 1935. Oh, ever! <laughs> For us, members of the BBC, the Bugs Bunny Club... <laughs> What's up, Doc? Max is merely a pale sketching of the masterpiece of the animator's art that is Bugs. Would you mind if I... Popped out, or as we say, hop it, I can carry on, you know, you just leave it to me and the BBC. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Well, Bugs Bunny was without any doubt the most... Are you from the BBC? That's right, the Bugs Bunny Club. What's up, Doc? You're BBC, and I'm an NCO. NCO? Oh, you're a military man. So that means you're a non-commissioned officer? No. NCO? Nasty chucker out. So get... Oh, very few. Here, here, my mic. Here, here. Open my ears. Oh, this bunny wants his mummy! <laughs> Here today, gone to 